is up, YouTube? <laughs> okay. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl, Deja, here. If you're not already, subscribe to me, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. In the comments, give me topics on some more videos to do. It's summertime, and I just want to be pumping out some videos. But okay, let's get right into this video. I have been working on my jaw for a whole year now. If you guys do not know, you need to add me on Snapchat. It'll be in the comments or the description box below. But basically, um, it's been a whole year. I've been at my job. And I work at a Dominican hair salon. I have on one of the salon. Well, this isn't a salon t-shirt. But this is a, t a stylish t-shirt that I bought while working at the salon. Um... So I'm about to just tell you all my experience about working in the salon and how I got the job. So basically, I started working there when I was 14 years old. My birthday is July 23rd. Stay tuned for the Sweet 16 vlog. But I started working there last year when I was 14. So it was around this time, which means I turned 15 like two or three weeks afterwards. Um, after I turned, after I started working there, I lucked up. Well, first of all, I wanted a job because. I like to go out and I like to go places, buy things, whatever, whatever. And I was getting an allowance which was ten dollars a week. And every time I would go out, I was spending like forty dollars. So I would have to save up a whole month's allowance basically to go out for one weekend. And that was no bueno. I like going out places. Now I don't spend that much when I go out because you know, when it's your own money, you like to be cheap. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you go to the little anyways, so Basically, that's why I got wanted a job, and I was I'm younger than a lot of my friends because my birthday is in the summertime, so everybody had a summer job, and I was just you know like chilling in my house, 14 years old. You can't get a summer job until you're 15, whatever, whatever. So I just was thinking one day like, uh, well first of all, my parents had to motivate me talking about you ain't doing nothing, whatever, whatever. But that's nothing there, all there. But they motivated me to get a job, um. And yeah, so I was like, okay, maybe I could work at a barber shop or a hair salon sweeping the floors. Um, it's this like, it's the it's the um salon plaza on Silver Hill Road next to the gym that my family goes to and the grocery store and the Dollar Tree or whatever. But it's a salon plaza over there, and I don't know why. I just was like, oh, let me just go in there and see if somebody need me to sweep the floor, or shampoo. I know I wash my own hair, but it's not that hard to wash somebody else's hair. Uh wrong uh, wrong it's hard it's super hard but anyways so um yeah i went over there basically i went into like two of the salons because it's a lot plaza. there's like a whole bunch of different salons all in one facility i went into the salons basically you kind of have the you already know kind of sort of when don't nobody want you to work there. There's like, have you had experience before? I was like, no. <laughs> you know how to wash hair? Yeah, I wash my own hair in the shower. But I didn't say that. I was just like, yeah. You know, like simple little things. They're just like, you can leave me your number. But you knew they was going to call you back. You know when a job say, leave your number, they ain't going to call you back. Like, that, whatever, whatever. Shady people. And um, how am I supposed to get experience at a job if I got not trying to give me no experience? I'm a quick learner, ma'am. Whatever. So, basically, those people didn't want me. And after going to two or three of the songs, I ain't going through this joint no more. You know? Because you kind of like, don't nobody want me. I mean, somebody might have wanted me, but y'all wasn't about to make me walk out of there with 40 sign L's. I walk out with my two, and y'all can have my phone number. Peace. So, it's a bowling alley in the same shopping center. All of this stuff is really close to my school. That's why I was, you know... It was like, oh, that way, you know, if it, it's not just a summer job, I'll still have a job and I can get there from my school. But anyway, so I walked to the bowling alley. They're usually hiring. I sent my I sent my application in when I was doing marching band, but my schedule, they probably looked at that and was just like, this girl ain't never going to be able to work. So I went over there. The lady, she's never there. Like the little lady that be hiring people, she's never there. So, you know, I left my information with them again and kept on going it's a beauty supply store across the street in the shopping center with the riot aid and the wells fargo or whatever so i told my mom i called her because she had dropped me off and she like i think went down the street to get something and then she was going to come back and i just told her i was ready and i told her um 
she was already on the other side, so I just said, okay, I'll walk across the street. And she was like, oh, I'm about to go get something from the beauty supply store. Just meet me there. So I just walked across the street. We went to the beauty supply store. I came back out. And across the street, like, directly in that vision of where the car was parked, it was a Dominican salon. Um, so my mom was like, you should just go in there and see. So I walked in. My hair is all bright red. And I sit down. Um, it was only one stylist, and there still is only one stylist in the salon. And she had her assistant, her niece. And luckily, I came the same week that her niece was leaving. They gave me an application. I put that I knew how to color because, you know, I used to color my own hair. My hair was looking popping. Everybody was asking me what I was doing. But I said I knew how to color, wash hair. Everything I did to my own hair, I just said that I could do. So my application looked like I could do everything. I said I know how to twist, braid, blah, 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 you know. Um, so she asked me if I could come in tomorrow. I was like, yes, I could come in, you know, yeah. Because that was like the last week of her niece was going to be there. And I came in that weekend, because I went, that was a Friday that I went. So that weekend, that Saturday and Sunday I went in. That was basically like training. And then a the week after that, it was like training again. And then her niece was gone. And I was officially an employee. Um, and yeah, I get paid $50 a day. Uh, that first, the first year that I was working here, well, the summertime that I was working, it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I was making one fifty a week. Um, and then when school started, I just was working Saturday, Sunday. I worked from opening to closing. So, I mean, I guess you could say that's a little bit of money, but at the same time, I get tips. On an average day, I make about twenty dollars in tips. Um, on a good day, I made about $50 in tips, so, you know, you get extra, and sometimes when people's not in the salon, you get paid just for sitting there, literally, like, you sit there, you, the benefits, I could get my hair done for free, but because I'm natural, I don't like to get too much heat done on my hair, but, you know, whatever, whatever. I like working there. Currently, at the salon, it has been a few stylists going in and out, but it's really only been... One stylist and two assistants. I have a co-worker. Her name is, well, her name is Mercedes. But I call her Angie. They're both Dominican. Mercedes is an older woman. She's probably about in her 60s. Um, Hermione, I'm not sure her age. She's probably in her early 40s, late 30s. And it's me. I'm 15 years old. I hold kind of like a, I'm her personal assistant. I do the money at the salon. I run, I, you know, check up on her website to make sure everything's up and running um i email her her um i don't know what he's called the realtor. the realtor i email him to make sure her money and all of that for her bills you know to get her bill statements or whatever print those out i make flyers i wash hair i do roller sets uh, customer service, answer the phone. I'm the only one that can speak very good English. And I sometimes, I've, I can translate, like, if they don't know a, a English word, I take Spanish in school, so I kind of help out with the translating and whatever. Um, and we're all, like, our little family. Um, yeah, we're all, like, a little family in there. It's me, Angie, and Hermione, and we're all really cool. We work together. We work well together. Um, I'm about to start working um, this week coming up. I'm have I'm work this weekend, so I go to work tomorrow and Sunday, and then the week after that, that's when I start working Thursday after I get um, off of school because I'm going to summer school. But I said not because I failed. I'll tell y'all story time on that later. But I'm going to summer school. I'm gonna start coming in Thursday after school, so about three o'clock, and then. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You do the math. Um, and yeah, so I like working there. That's basically how I got my job. That's what I do at my job. I like my job and um I might work there until I graduate high school. We shall see. It depends on if you know, it just depends. Uh I don't I, I never looked at other jobs or anything because I like my job. I'm satisfied with it. It works really good on my schedule. I really enjoy the people. They're really sweet and she kinda she needs me. She it's not like she needs me. Of course she could get somebody else, but I don't wanna leave her stranded. So you know, I don't plan I don't currently 
am, I'm currently not looking for another job. I'm satisfied with my job. Um, I feel like I make pretty good money. Other people might be like, well, we make this, this, this. Well, I know that I'm going in every Saturday and Sunday unless something, you know, a holiday or whatever. Other jobs, they call you in and you sometimes won't even get hours. And I personally do not like working after school. I do not like having a schedule that's all over the place. I like knowing that, okay, I'm only working on the weekends after school. And I know what time I'm getting off I, every day. I know what time I'm getting, got to go to work. It's just a, it's just a, a nice schedule. It's a nice, it works well. It's not like I'm waiting for my boss to give me more hours so I could get more money, you know. And I could go in and I know exactly how much money I'm going to get at the end of the week rather than, you know, every week I'm getting different money because I'm working different hours, you know. And it's just, it just really helps me. I like the job. It's really beneficial to me. It helps my schedule. I like going places. So it just fits into everything. Um, I, I, so yeah, basically I like my job and I probably will work there until I graduate high school and go off to college. If I go to college uh, in the area, I'll probably still, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. But if I go to college still in the area like D.C., Maryland, whatever, if it's close, then I'll probably still work there. But for the most part, uh, yeah. I probably will work there until I graduate high school. So, thank you all for watching this video. That's a little bit about my job. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a few more videos coming up. They're either up before this or after this. So, yeah.